This is question number 94 from book number one based on the 2020 NEC, and this is electricaltime.com. What is the full load current, and that's the FLC, in amps for a 230 volt three phase induction type squirrel cage motor at 10 horsepower? Is it A, 32.2 amps, B, 30.8 amps, C, 28 amps, or is it D, 25 amps? Just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com. We do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home. And then we also have this free service. So if you click on the subscribe for free NEC questions, Monday through Friday, you'll get an NEC code question and an answer sent to your email. All right, so back to our video. And the answer to this question is going to be C, and that's going to be 28 amps. First question we're going to ask ourselves, what article are we talking about here? And we see some clues. We see FLC, we see full load current, and we see motor. And that's going to tell us that we have to go to Article 430. And Article 430 is called Motors motor circuits and controllers and that's within chapter four equipment for general use we go all the way to the end of article 430 for motors and then we find part 14 and that is called the tables and then we look at table 430.250 and that's for the full load current for three phase AC motors. So step number one, we're going to go to table 430.250 in your code book and let's do that together here on the video. So stop the video, go grab your code book and let's take a look at this table together. All right, here goes. So this is the table 430.250 full load current three phase alternating current motors. I'm just going to take a moment to talk about something called the NFPA link. It's having the code book on your cell phone. It is absolutely fantastic. You can search for things if you're on the job, if you're an electrician or an electrical inspector. It's a wonderful tool. It's about $10 a month. I highly recommend it. And you go to nfpa.org, and I think they give you like a two-week free trial, so you can go check that out. Uh, we're not affiliated with the NFPA, but I think so highly of this app, and that's why I always tell everybody about it. All right, so we're going to look at this table, and we see up here it talks about induction type squirrel cage and wound uh, rotor in amperes. All right, so don't get confused when you look at this table. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line over here. All right, and we can see something over here is called synchronous type utility power factor amperes. All right, so we're not using that side right now because in the question, you know, we talked about an induction, you know, type motor. So you got to know which side of this table that you're going to use otherwise you're just going to get all messed up all right so in the question we were asking about what's the full load current that's the flc and that's going to be for a 10 horsepower motor and we were told we're at 230 volts and when i look at that cross section between 230 volts and 10 horsepower i get 20 Eight amps and that's how simple this is so you got to know this table and when somebody's asking you what the FLC or the full load current is for that motor you just go back there and look at these tables we got tables for single phase and we got tables for three phase and we also have another table and I have yet to see where I'm going to use that table in real life and again i'm going to go to article 430 in my code book and we have another table that's called for full load current for two phase 
alternating current motors. So that's that's one that I don't use. Uh, so the one that I use is uh, table 430.248, and that's going to be for the full load current in amperes for single phase alternating current motors. And then I use uh, table 430.250 for the full load current for three phase alternating current motors. And then also we have another table that's 430.247. That's the full load current in amperes for direct current motors. But almost everything that I do as an electrician and an electrical inspector at this point is going to be an alternating current. But you might have a situation where you're going to have direct current motors. All right, so let's go back up to our textbook and see how we solve the answer here. And we just solved it. So again, step two, from the first column, we're going to find that 10 horsepower motor. And in step number three, from the first group of motors titled, that's going to be induction type squirrel cage and wound rotor ampers. We're going to find 230 volts. In step four, we see the intersection of 10 horsepower and 230 volts gives us 28 amps FLC, and that is our answer. So again, the answer is going to be C, that's going to be 28 amps, and this is code reference from table 430.250.